the project we are going to build is complete backend e-commerce web api so in this section we will prepare our api server and connect our project to mongodb database so i request you if you haven't watched our previous part then the video link of that part is in the description and you will also found the link of full playlist and while programming of this part if you got any error then the github repository link is also in the description so you can simply copy the code inside your computer now without wasting any time let us move to our project i want to install mongoose because mongoose provide path between our node.js application and our database mongodb so now let us import mongoose now let us go inside our mongodb cloud so this is our database and i want to create a new project name is shop let us click on this next and create a project so here you can see this screen so now before creating a cluster first let us go inside this network access and i want to add an ip address and let us write here allow access from anywhere but remember when you deploy this site this ip address will not work then let us write here confirm then go inside this database access and add a new database user right here shop user and i want to write the password here that is like 1234567 abc and then click on this add user so here you can see we are getting this database access so now let us go inside this cluster and create a new cluster go inside this free section and now let us click on this create cluster so you can see here your cluster is being created and this will take time 1 to 3 minutes so here you can see cluster is created now and let us go inside this collections because this is our nosql database and click on this add my on data database name is eShop database and inside this collection name I want to write products because this is our first collection and now let us click on this create button then let us go back and click on this connect connect your application because I want to connect my application with this database that is node.js so now let us copy this string then close the file go inside our env file and here I want to provide another environment variable that is connection string and here I want to paste this string and here you can see this is our shop user and instead of password we have to write one two three four five six seven abc that we used earlier and instead of this database name i want to write eshop database now save the file Now let us move inside our app.js 
and above of this listening pod we have to write mongoose.connect and here we have to provide the url that is come from this variable connection string and here i want to write promise and inside this arrow function for our checking purpose i write database connection is ready then i also want to write this catch function if there is an error so let us print error so now save the file and here you can see our database connection is ready but here you can also see some of the warnings so we can't avoid them so here we have to write this stuff use new url parcel true and this is our database name eshop database so whenever i save our file you can see here server is running on this pod and our warnings are now gone and database connection is ready so now the time is come to read write data to our database using api so for that i am using schema so basically schema holds the basic file structure that we are going to put inside the database so let us create product schema mongoose dot schema and inside this i want to use these fields first is name and this is in string format second is image this is also in string format and last one is count in stock because for product we are also want to display how many number inside our stock so this is a number i create a new variable named product and that will contain mongoose.model so basically schema is for our node.js application but our database will use the concept of this model so inside this model i want to pass our schema and now let us save our file now let us go inside our post request and here i want to write const product and i want to create our instance of our model that is product and our this product model con contain name image and count in stock so name will come from request dot body dot name image will come from request dot body dot image similarly for our counting stock after this i want to write product dot save because whenever we are getting this data we also want to save inside our database so i write here product dot save and let us write the promise here 
so inside this then i want to use create product so if our new product is coming then status is 201 so this is for our successful then i want to pass the json format created product and if then is inside our error then response dot status 500 so this is basically for warning so 500 dot json i get the error here and I write success is false because we are getting error. So now save the file, go to our postman and again I want to send this data. So here you can see I actually get this data. Now go inside our collection that is products and I want to refresh this connection then inside these products you can see here ID name and image we are getting inside our database but here you can see we are not providing discount in stock and I want to write this field required true so this is our field that we have to add when we are going inside our products so type is number similar like before and this field is required so i write here required true and now save the file go inside postman and i again send this file and you can see here this is the error count in stock is required now so here I want to write count in stock let us write here 4 and send this so here you can see I get the data now let us refresh our this collection here you can see I get this count in stock inside my products collection and now go inside our get request and here i passing this default stuff but instead of this the time is come to use product list variable and here i want to write product dot find so after post inside our api when we are get we are using this find method so we can actually get the data that we are posted response.send product list and now save the file again go inside postman click on this send and i want to use here get request so when i get something that i posted but here you can see there is an error because our database is not a real time database so first we have to wait some for time before we are getting something so for that i want to use a wait here and i want to use asynchronous function to avoid our error and before sending this data i want to write this if function so if our product list will be empty then this is the warning so i write here response.status and this is 500 for a warning code and success is false and there is something inside our product list then it will automatically 
use this response.send so now let us save the file again send this but here you can see we are getting actually something because now we are using asynchronous function method let's take a quick pause here and if you want to continue with the next part or you can also say the last part of this section is in the description with full playlist link so inside the part 3 of our section 1 we will restructure our code because now if you coding all of these things inside your app.js then that file will be too long so first we will restructure our file inside our two folders name modules and routes so stay tuned for next part and if you got any error while programming then you can check my github repository link that is in the description so you can simply copy this part code inside your computer thank you for watching and if you really like then give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe my channel bye bye